Immigration. Democrat Congressman Joe Crowley wants families which were separated at the border to be compensated, given money, after entering the country illegally. Joining us, Herman Cain. <sighs> Damages to illegals who come here illegally and because they're separated, we pay them? What's going on? Well, remember, Crowley was a loser and now he has a losing idea. This is just one more indication that we no longer have the Democrat Party. It's the Socialist Democrat Party. Free community college, free health care, free, 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 free. That's their only mantra. Now, as you pointed out earlier today, Stuart, in one of your excellent interviews, <laughs> it's unfortunate that half the people that are buying all of this socialist crap they don't even know what it is. That's true. And so Crowley, who is now a has-been congressman, okay, is putting this ludicrous idea out there to try to keep the emotions going around this whole illegal children narrative, and it's not going to work. No, I agree with you. I mean, it, when the, it, if that were put forward as serious Democrat policy, uh, at the moment, it's a suggestion from a defeated congressman, but he's staying in Congress. If that were put forward as Democrat policy, I can't believe that the country would go for it. I just can't believe it. No. And uh, you can't either. No, it would be dead on arrival. It would be dead on arrival, number one, because Republicans still control the House. They still control the Senate. And even after November, my prediction, which I don't make predictions, they're still going to control both houses. Why? because of these losing idiotic ideas that the socialist democrats keep throwing out there to see what sticks it ain't sticking okay now herman as you know the president is heading to iowa today and as you know that's farm country i've got to believe that the president will make a big point of telling the farmers look we're going to sell your soybeans to the europeans yep and that sticks it to china i think uh... He's going to get a very good reception, I suspect. I believe he will, because first, remember a few days ago, he announced asking for $12 billion to say to the farmers, we got your back. Now, with the deal that he has conceptually cut with the European Union, he's saying, we not only have your back, but we're going to open up the front door so you'll be able to sell more of your product to the European Union. This is a win-win for President Trump. He didn't just strike oil and gas. I think he struck gold yesterday, Stuart. <laughs> Good one, Herman. You got the best one-liners on the planet, and that's a fact. <laughs> Herman Cain, everyone. Can't get enough of him. Come back and see us soon. Happy to be please, with you. Sir. Thank you, sir.